Rockatia Howa, Rockatia Howa Shah, Rockatia Howa, Rockatia Howa Shah. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rikakadash. Yahweh be in the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shah be in the name of His only begotten Son, who they ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Now, a lot of people get in the scriptures twisted and prophecies twisted, and I just want to make it plain. At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, this World War III Armageddon is about the heathens ruling the world, meaning the time of the Gentiles to rule, and the Israelites being in slavery and in captivity. And this war is going to be reversing the tide, taking these heathens and Gentiles out of rulership and putting the Israelites in their rightful place as kings on the earth. That's what the 144,000 is. And that great crowd is the army that the 144,000 is ruling over and leading. See, they are the leaders of the army of Israel. They're not the leaders over the whole, um, the whole world of, uh, of Christendom, no. They the leaders of the Israelites. See, the elect Israelites that's going to make it and the Israelites that's going to get resurrected. These are the the, the, the um, rulers. Those 12,000 uh, out of each tribe. This is what the scriptures is talking about when it's all said and done. This is what World War Three is about. This is what Joel is talking about when he say all nations shall be gathered together because when the Lord plead with all nations, he going to be pleading with them for the Israelites and with the Israelites. See, because once Babylon, the great America is destroyed, it's wartime to put these other nations into chain. That new Jerusalem is going to come down with spiritual bodies and they're going to be locking up the Gentile Kings and any Gentile that think that they can do anything. See, these these heathens and Gentiles are going in the chains. This is what the, the good news is about, that the Israelites ain't going to live uh, as slaves for eternity. They're not going to be serving these Gentiles. See, they're going to know that they're Israelites, first of all. They're not going to be Gentile uh, in the mind and, and and still be a slave and and an Israelite uh literally no they're gonna be literally Israelites and in their mind they're gonna be Israelites. That's what that spirit gonna come upon all the flesh of the Israelites and their sons and daughters gonna understand the prophecy and they gonna understand that they, they are the children of Israel. That's what that Holy Spirit is, is teaching. See teaching them to remember who they are and teaching them the truth. And so the scriptures back it up. You, gotta, you don't even gotta get, gotta get a lot of scriptures. See, because when you're talking about reversing the time, when you go to Revelation, I mean, you go to four, uh, Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14, getting right to the point. Verse two, it says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. See, now the Israelites gonna have these Gentiles as servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. See, they was captured by the heathen. They was taking captives in all nations. That's Luke 21 and 24, like Yahweh Shah said. The time of the Gentiles is going to be when the Israelites is being captives into all nations. And they say, and they shall rule over their oppressors. They're going to take these Gentiles and these heathen, these non-Israelites, is going into slavery. This is what it's all about. Jeremiah 51 and 20. See, he said, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. 
for with you will I break in pieces the nation. See the heathen, the Gentile, and with you will I destroy kingdoms. See these kingdoms of the Gentiles or the non-Israelites is gonna be destroyed and the, and the 144,000 with their great army is gonna take over. See, they gonna take over and start ruling and sitting on the throne with the king of kings of the Israelites. See, cause the Israelites gonna be kings and Yahweh is the king of those kings. And he gonna take his uh, uh, seat on the throne and the 12 apostles gonna sit on the, their thrones and the Israelites is going to, the 144,000 is going to sit on their thrones. See, this is what Revelation 5 and 10, it said, and have made us unto our God kings and priests, the Israelites, and we shall reign on the earth. Okay, when he talked about the good news in Isaiah 61, but he quoted it in, in Luke 4, 14, 4 18, uh, around about the 7th or 8th verse, the ninth verse. Uh, is it the ninth verse? No. Let's see here, the 6th verse. It says, You shall... But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentile. And in their glory shall you boast yourself. See, we're going to be kings and priests and rule over these Gentiles and take all of their riches and live off of them like they're doing us here in Babylon, the great America, and all over the world. See, Babylon is where we condense that. And then all these and, and these other nations, they come to Babylon and bring their money out of Babylon and send it back to their country and build up their own their country. But they use Babylon as a major hub to get rich and feed off of the children of Israel. See who the who are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who uh, work in these fields in these uh, corporations and plantations or whatever uh, uh, institution to help these other nations get rich. And so that war of Armageddon, this is what it's all about. It's not about no God fighting the wicked angels. That's a lie. See, the, the Israelites are the battle axes and weapons of war, and they're going to destroy nations, kingdoms. They're not going to be fighting no angels, man. They're going to be fighting the kingdoms. See, it say, for they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth to the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle. Not a bunch of angels and devils. See, and fallen rebellious angels. No, they gathering these nations, the kings. See, they gathering the so-called white men, Edomites. Elam, the East Indian, the Arab, Ishmael, see, a gathering, uh, the Hamite, Africans, a gathering, all of these nations, the Moab, the Chinese, the Ammon, the Japanese, a ga gathering all these peoples up so they can have a battle with them. And, and this is going to be the great day of God Almighty. Not no freaking fighting no angels and, and, and fighting religion. Well, I just want to bring that out. I'm going to leave it there. All praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, and Kakadash. The one to the elders pushing the truth. Peace to thee, let worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.